In this class, we'll look at the class methods and instance methods, and also class attributes and instance attributes. Okay. So in Java, your attributes or data fields of a class, they can be either static or instance. Static means they are available to the entire class and they are shared by all instances of, the, instances, of the, instances of the class. That means all objects of the class will share that static or class attribute. Static attribute or class attribute they mean the same thing. Okay. Generally you access the class attribute via the class name. So you say class name dot the field name, field name or attribute name. Okay. And this field is common across all objects of that particular class. So they all share it. Okay. Whereas instance data fields or instance attribute are specific to a, a particular instance of a class. That means they are specific to a particular object of a class. Okay. And you always access that particular field via reference to the object. So if you have an object name, you can access that field name. Okay. Similarly, we have what is called as static methods and instance methods. So static methods are available to, are again shared by all the instances or objects of the class and they are invoked via the class name. And instance methods can be invoked via the an instance of a class or an object of the class. Okay. One important difference between a static method and instance method is an instance method can only access instance attributes via the this keyword. This keyword refers to the current object the object by which the instance method was invoked. Whereas static methods do not have access to the this keyword. That means because they are not associated with any particular object, right? So static methods can only access static attributes and instance methods can access instance attributes. In Java, the keyword for a class method or a class attribute is static. Whereas for instance methods and instance attributes, there is no keyword. If there is no keyword like called static, that means it's an instance attribute or instance method. Okay. So let's look at an example. I have a program here called demo instance versus static. So this ID and name, their attributes or data fields. Are they instance attributes or static attributes? ID and name, because they don't have the word static in front of them, to the left of them, they are instance attributes. Whereas this message, which is of type string, is a, is a class attribute because it has a keyword static in front of it. Okay. And a method name which has the same name as a class name is a constructor of the class. A constructor basically initializes an object of the class. So in the initialization, you always initialize the attributes of the class. So in this case, we are initializing the ID and name. Generally, you don't initialize static methods in the constructor, static attributes in the constructor, but it is possible to do it and it will not complain. Because this message is not particularly, is not associated with any instance of the, any particular instance of the class, but it is, it is still okay to access it. Okay, but generally you are, you you don't access it like that. You always access it via the class name. Okay, 
In this particular instance of the constructor, we do not pass any arguments and we initialize the id to 0 and name to an empty string. Okay. So, let us look at an example of how these are invoked. Here I am creating two instances or two objects of this class and the, for the first one I set the id to be 1 and the name to be ben and I print the id of d1. Since id is an instance attribute, it can be invoked only via the instance of the class and d1 is an instance of this class. Similarly, I can set the id for d2 and the name for d2. Okay. And when I, when I print d1 and d2 by using the system.out.println, it will automatically invoke the two string method of that class if there is one. The two string is returning the id and the name by concatenating it and returning that string and you see the return type here. And that str the, the string which is returned is being printed via the, via the system.out.println. Okay. Here, message is a class attribute because it has a keyword static in front of it. So, I told you that whenever an attribute or a method has a keyword static in front of it, it becomes a static attribute or a static method. Another name is class attribute or class class method. Okay. So, a class attribute or a class name is always invoked via the class name. This demo instance versus static is a class name. So, you can invoke, you can access it via the class name. Similarly, print hello is a class method and how do you confirm that it is a class method? You go to the method definition, look at the signature and to the left of the return type, if you see the keyword static, that means it is a static method or a class method. So, a static method or a class method is always invoked via the class name and that is what we are doing over here. Print hello is being invoked via the name of the class. You are not invoking it via an object of the class. It is also okay to invoke it by an instance of the class, but in general in practice we never do that. And if you see here, it gives you gives you a warning saying that the static method should be accessed in a static way. It is not an error, but it is just alerting alerting you. So, in general in the in, in, in when you, when you, whenever you go on any project, you will never see anyone doing like this. You always invoke it via the class name, because this is kind of mis, misleading right. Someone who is reading your code, they will think that you are invoking an instance method. right? Uh, similarly, here we are creating two more instances okay. and if you see here for D4, I am saying that I am setting the message to I am from Nigeria. So, when you print that message, it becomes I am from Nigeria okay. and then in D5, I am setting the message to I am from India and I am printing that message here and going forward, since I set the message to I am from India, for both D4 and D5, the message will say I am from India, because I said a class attribute is shared by all instances of that class. So, D4, D5, D1, D2, they will all have the same message I am from India. Whereas, the ID which is an instance attribute, as soon as you set it on one object, only that object will have that attribute. So, in this particular example, for example, here for d1 I set the id to 1 and d2 I set the id to 2. So, at this point of time if I print d1's id or d2's id, d1's id will be 1 and d2's id will be 2. Each object will have unique values for all of its instance attributes, whereas for class attributes all the objects of that class will share that value. Okay. So, let us run this program and confirm all the things that I just mentioned. 
see at the very end all the instances of that class are sharing that message ok so go ahead and run this program and get a feel of how static or class method methods work and how instance instance methods work. Okay.